Oh uh, yeah, usually yeah. You do? Yeah, I do. I find so many developers make their own guacamole. Really? I, I, I personally don't, and I find it so crazy to me. And uh, some people. Actually, I don't. It's my girlfriend, but yeah. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, I can't. Perfect. Hello there, my name is Brennan, Hello. and today I'm talking with Frank from Shiro Games. Today they're showcasing at PAX East their newest venture into yeah. indie games. Right now they have the Alpha out on the show floor for the first time ever you can play it here at PAX East. You obviously can't because you're watching this video in a whole different time period. I, I, I was playing it. It's a lot of fun. Thank you. There, there's some quirky stuff with zombies hanging off edges, but that's expected in Alpha, and it's a lot of fun even so. Yeah. I also want to talk to you a little bit, like, as an indie here showcasing the cons. You guys have been making games for a few years. Oh, yeah. You have a couple games out. And the, this one, you decided it was a good idea to show at a con the first time, first look at the game. Is a Kickstarter coming? Or is there something big that you want people to start wishlisting? Early access, perhaps? Oh, that's actually a good question. Yeah. Uh, we decided beforehand that uh, we would uh, release uh, to early access uh, by September. So it felt right to have a demo ready for uh, PAX East. We worked uh, to polish it and uh, have something uh, uh, presentable and fun for the public. How long have you guys been working on this game and how many more years do you think is into the development? Oh, um, so that I can answer. Yeah. Uh, we've, been, um, we've been working for one year and a half, kind of, uh, with a very small team, but actual prod, uh, I'd say one year. So we'll uh, release, hopefully, to uh, early access by September, and we should have one year uh, after that uh, before the full release. So, yeah. And that's a long amount of time to be working on a game. Yeah. We have a little bit of a theme going on how you press your indie game, and since you're coming up with early access, you guys have to start considering how much you're going to charge people now, how much you might charge them later. Does that amount of time go into your idea of what you think the game should cost? Like, do you think you need to make up that amount of time that you guys have put into this game? Is that where the cost comes from? I think it's more of a matter of how much I would pay as a, as a gamer, you know? It's also a matter of content, you know, and quality. Uh, so I think that uh, the right pricing is a balance uh, between quality uh, content and, of course, what you need to, uh, you know, to break even. And do we have a price so far for what the early access is going to be? Oh, no, I have no idea. No idea at all. I have no idea at all. Now, there's one last thing I want to talk to you about, which is the fact that you guys have Origin PCs running your game here. Uh, you have a little bit of a sponsorship. Can you uh, elaborate a little bit more on how one might go about getting that sort of sponsorship? or? Did they reach out to you? Do you reach out oh, to them? Uh, I think uh, Adrian reached out to them uh, and asked if they could lend PCs and they can lead it. Uh, so uh, we have a sponsorship. The PCs are top notch. They work perfectly. So it's smooth and the game is not that optimized because you know it's yeah. a, a pre-alpha build. It built, actually so runs pretty well. Yeah, it runs well. Most of our our PCs uh, in house uh, cannot run the game so smoothly uh, right now. So we are pretty happy with those. <laughs> All right, thanks so much for talking to me, Frank. Uh, have a great rest of PAX East. There's still one and a half full days to go. Yeah. It's four days, man. It's a yeah, long time. I I have not exhibited it here before, yeah. and I don't know if I plan to for a long while. I'm not quite I'm not quite prepared for it. I have a, I have a young person's body, but an yeah, old man's yeah. back. Yeah, you not, will see. It doesn't get uh, any better. Uh, standing. You guys don't even have chairs here for yourselves. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, we don't usually sit on the floor, but uh, mostly we just... Uh, yeah. Thanks so much for talking with me. Thank you, you have a good rest of the PAX East. Thank you. Have a good one.